Ryan Shazier last night, what, from what I'm told and from what I've read, this was a celebration. Football was celebrating that Ryan Shazier can walk again. I'm going to say that sentence again. Football is celebrating that Ryan Shazier can walk again. And I don't know about you guys, but when I watched that, I was deeply uncomfortable with him being used as a piece of propaganda and him being used as a piece of propaganda that doesn't actually help the image of your league as you're drafting fresh new bodies to throw into the maw of this money-making monster, you're bringing before them the risk. And you're saying, look how great it is. He can walk. Look how great it is that this guy, a hero we're applauding right now, is able to get on his own feet as a world's best kind of athlete and take a step. That's what we're celebrating on all of these networks here, that risk, on all of these networks that broadcast all these fresh new bodies that are being thrown into the machine, and they actually thought it was a good idea to trot out in front of us a guy who we haven't been sure how dark his days have been because he's been in the hospital and he's been sick, and the pictures there are of him, it appears that Ben Roethlisberger is holding him up. Right. It has not been clear that he could take those steps. None of us knew how badly he was hurt, but there's an ambulance on the field and a pair a prayer circle around this guy when he leaves, and then he goes into the darkness away from the TV lights, and he vanishes until they brought him back up and bring him out now to celebrate more bodies being thrown into the violence. Now, I understand many of you are saying they're getting paid millions and millions of dollars, but I ask you, how many millions do I have to give you for you to, to, to be someone who will risk paralysis and celebrate something that they trot Shazier out there to celebrate that's just, I, I just couldn't believe what I was watching. In fairness, there have been some updates along the way on Ryan Shazier. There have been. There have been, but, and it, you've seen him publicly at places, okay? We, but, Dan, what if he's in on that decision? What if Ryan Shazier wants to walk that, out on no, that stage? That's, look, I, this is not about Ryan Shazier. I'm, I'm not talking about Ryan Shazier. I'm talking about the risk that we're celebrating last night. I, who the hell could blast Ryan Shazier? He can do whatever he wants on draft day. No, but, but blasting the NFL. What if the NFL, Ryan Shazier has a decision I'm there, not, doesn't he? I'm not blasting the NFL. I'm looking at something that made me deeply squeamish yesterday because of the moral conundrum that this league is, that it's human cockfighting. With the athletes bigger, stronger than ever, and our court system filled with, you know, concussions and death and settlements. Like, eh, it's an uneasy tension that the sport keeps getting bigger and bigger, literally, becomes a bigger and bigger bank, is on all the networks running everything last night just to celebrate a nonsense day. It was really difficult for me as someone who enjoys that day more than any other day on the sports calendar to be confronted with that sort of reality. I wasn't ready for it, it was weird. at all, and it really sort of bummed me out because I maybe I'm naive. I followed the updates. I just had no idea. I was stunned at, at how bad it actually was, and kudos to him. This isn't about Sh Shay's ear. It's about that juxtaposition. I wasn't prepared to feel that emotion. And you felt bad about it, huh? Awkward transition. Time for some ads. I gotta be honest, I didn't think too much about it. I'm not saying you guys are wrong. I didn't think too much about it. I thought, wow, what a great story. Oh, most people. I did. Yeah, but yeah. what's the what's a great story? A great athlete may never be able to play football I, again and can walk. That's I the great story. Well, yeah, but I remember how badly I felt, you know, when he was laying out on the field. And I remember last night thinking, wow, okay, okay. Ryan Chase here is getting no, better. But, no, but I, Dan, I yes, realize. No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> but also. Thank you, football, for allowing us to feel better yesterday as Ryan Shazier will now need help walking away from the lights. And maybe he doesn't feel so much better because he's been in the dark for a while and he heads back to the dark to figure out if he could ever play football again because of spine problems. The emotion I felt was, I remember not too long ago, him walking out on that stage as a rookie getting drafted, holding up the jersey, and to see that over the course of a couple of years and what the sport did to him made me feel sad.